Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. You join me here back at Chester Lakes. I'm on Doddleston Lake again, which is the specimen pool at the complex. I'm fishing a mini social uh, with Charlie, who helped me on the previous video when I was here last, a couple of weeks ago, where I ended up having three 20 pounders in the space of about an hour and a half. It did end up with like stormy weather right at, near the end of that session, so I did cut it uh, short. But I'm here again today to do a 24 hour session just to hopefully get a couple of fish. I'm not expecting multiple 20s, but it would be nice. So here's hoping. Uh, fishing tactics, same as always. Um, I'm on a spinner rig, uh, fishing 12 mil, fruit and nut pop-ups in white this time. They were what got me the bites mostly last time. I did a uh, catch on bottom baits as well, but I'm going fruit and nut pop-ups. That's what caught the 320s last time. So give them a go. Also guys, the 500 subscriber bait giveaway. Uh, the winners will be announced later on in the video. So obviously stay tuned for the video, watch it throughout. Uh, give the video a like, give it a comment as well. But yeah, I'll announce the winners later on. But I'll show you the uh, lake. I'm on peg two this time. I'm on the complete opposite bank of where I was last time on peg seven. Charlie's jumped on that peg over there. I've put him on the spots where I was last time, but I do like peg two because it's got a tree margin to me right that I could try later. Reeds in that far corner. Also, I can cast to that open water where I was from peg seven. And also the margins down here, those tree margins, you probably look further than what they do on camera they're only about 50 yards something like that that's got to hold some carp as well so here's hoping i can get a couple of carp to show you in a bit right guys so what i'm using i'm using small mesh bags a uh, combination with breadcrumb fruit and nut pellets and whole slash uh, crushed up og fruit and nut boilies um, i have got the og fish as well but last time the fruit and nut did well so i'll start off with them um, and then i'll jump on to og fish if nothing else is happening but yeah i just thought i'd quickly show you what bags i'm using as well and then with them i'm putting the og fruit and nut sauce on them and the magic dust a lovely little six pound two ounce bream to save what possibly could have been a 48 hour blank and it's all down to Stu recommending the move so cheers Stu. it's all right mate fell down to the uh, parker baits wafter and it's just it's my PB bream. Tell him what I had. What's well, coming in? <laughs> move, move out my peg. Stu casts in, and he has a lovely, lovely fish to show you in a minute, and you will enjoy it. Right, guys, my right hand rod after recasting, it was in 20 minutes on 12 mil white fruit and nut. Pretty much where Charlie's been for the last <laughs> how long? Charlie, 36 hours. Yeah, but maybe a bit longer. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a go over there. Like I say, felt a clear patch. And like I say, 20 minutes later, resulting in this 17 pound, three ounce, lovely mirror, put up a good fight and yeah, pretty much scale perfect. So we'll get this one back, but that's a good start. Like I say, it's only about four o'clock, so we're not off till 7.30 in the morning. So hopefully we can get one or two more, but all right, now Charlie's turn for a car. <laughs> all right, see you in a bit guys. So get this 17.3 back. There he goes. So that was a bit of good luck. Um, literally, I moved my rods and then within 20 minutes um, where Charlie was fishing over on peg seven, he's moved off there about an hour before, come to the peg next to me. Um, I thought I'd cast in his swim where he was previously, just a little bit closer on my side. And within 20 minutes, rods rap rattled off. Uh, and as you've seen, producing that 17 pound three ounce uh, lovely mirror carp um, that fell to 12 mil white fruit and nut pop up and then as soon as my rod went off literally five minutes into the fight obviously charlie's rod went off and he had a pb bream of uh, six pound two so that's quite a big bream um, and like i say he's been here for 36 hours so he's glad just to catch anything at the moment but hopefully he can catch a carp before we go at seven in the morning tomorrow so so it's been a couple of hours since that 17 pound three ounce mirror um we have seen a couple of fish boshing but 
had no more runs or anything in either me or Charlie. Um, I thought I'd quickly go in, obviously with the mesh bags. What I've got is a combination of the fruit and nut pellet, which you can probably see just at the end, and I'll put some breadcrumb in. Um, I'm hooking these up, um, and what I'm doing, I'm probably recasting every hour, hour and a half, give or take, to try to find spots, because the jumping, I just, as I say, I can't get them to properly feed. They haven't been feeding much over the last few days, as Charlie obviously has been saying as well. Uh, for my bait choices, like I said at the start, um, I've been on OG Fruit and Nut, the white 12mm pop-ups, but what I might do, uh, with one of my rods shortly, is go on to the pineapple flora pop-ups. I'll probably, um, well, Charlie's actually got one of the, is it the orange on Charlie? Yeah, yeah he's got one of the orange uh, pop-ups on at the moment on one of his rods. I might go on the yellow because it's one of my all-time favourite flavours. And just basically see if that can nick me a bite soon. Um, we've probably got about, I'd say maybe an hour, hour and a half before it starts going dark. So I thought I'd try to monopolise the most on the visual uh, traction from this before obviously the flavour side will come in throughout the night hopefully and then bag me hopefully another 20 pounder right i'll quickly go see what charlie's doing probably hear me now yeah, yeah there he is all right, baby. all right bud thought i'd just quickly show people what whereabouts you are i'll be quiet because i know where your left hand rod is for a start i'll we'll get on this side like i say his left hand rod is literally under that tree where he had that dustbin of a blooming bream a minute ago that's six pound two and then his right hand you've just cast them far reads don't you charlie yeah what are you about two three foot off about not probably not even that but i'm, I'm feeling that one by the yeah uh, and that one he's put that was the one he's put uh pineapple pop-up in orange so hopefully if that can go he can get a carp this time something that he's after so yeah but we've seen a few jumping around but there's nothing too much showing no f massive loads of fizzing or like i say it's just the odd one every hour if that that jumps so and even getting charlie on burger duties <laughs> waiting for these rods to go off hopefully pretty soon but can't beat a cheeseburger on the bank happy days right guys so it's been a good few hours since that last cart now um i've had the odd couple of bleeps nothing too much as you can probably hear the rain's belting down as well as per usual with these last few <laughs> sessions that i have been doing uh, from what i'm hearing charlie hasn't had any runs or anything else either at the moment but probably grab a brew with him in a minute and then just yeah catch up see if anything's happened on the next peg but thought i'd give you a quick update because it's about uh eight nine o'clock now so hopefully in the next few hours we can grab a carp or two morning guys and girls uh nothing to report it was quite an uneventful night last night i think i only had a couple of bleeps um after i last uh, checked in with you i did hear a few carp splashing throughout the night but they weren't they weren't getting on the feed i'm not sure if they're on the feed and been fed over the weekend at all or i'm not sure but it is what it is i mean i had that 17 pound three ounce uh mirror yesterday so it wasn't a blank and it was a lovely carp that i had yesterday so that's a bonus also um i will be at commonwood fishery for my next uh, vlog and any second i will be doing the 500 subscriber bait giveaway so Good luck for everyone who's entered that. I really do appreciate the support, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, everything you've been showing me. So without further ado, let's get on to that. Right guys and girls, something most of you have been waiting for now, the bait giveaway. Thanks for everyone who has entered. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So it looks like first place is Michael Powell. Well done. Well, let's get straight into second. And that's is going to be Dan Hockley well done and third place is going to be Cloudy Carper well done right for everyone who's won uh, Michael Dan and Cloudy Carper if you can contact me on either Instagram 
or on Facebook and obviously I can get you address info to send out your prizes. Well done. And thanks everyone who has entered and I will be doing another bait giveaway at 750 subscribers.